Guys, this is my Nagro Silbro. So today in this particular video, we'll show you how to check uh, which members is passing and failing or uh, using the option of concrete design here. So first you need to do what you need to do is you need to de design the entire building and do all the steps and after that you will uh, do the analysis. So after the analysis, there's some warning comes some members passing or failing. So you don't know which member is passing, which member is failing. You can see in this uh, using this option this is very simple. Go to concrete design. A separate win uh, you know this model will appear select that and go to members and just uh, go to auto form members and your members will be named and automatically some members will be created then uh, next you need to go to envelopes okay and after going to envelopes you just need to click on new envelope and you can name them anything i'll just name this beam and uh, another one uh, i'll just take all the combinations here okay and then click on uh, okay and then i'll just take another envelope here and this will be for my columns and click on ok and this will be column taking all the load combination click on ok and done so now once the envelopes is created you have this uh, groups or briefs so first you need to create the brief and then the group so again beam first to a brief select your code of code select the code of your country and if you design by indian code it is is 56 beam ok Define the specification 25 km cover is enough for beam so we'll just go by it and uh, click on m25 and uh, here we have minimum reinforcement grade minimum reinforcement we use uh, let's say 16 mm let's go with 16 mm in this case uh, and maximum 25 mm and fe 500 we we'll use and uh, for this also fe 500 we we'll use and click on ok and then click on new brief once again then then for the column so let's keep it simple as 56 already selected okay and then m25 grade which is being used in all projects now maximum reduce 25 mm column load cases click all the loads okay click on okay and beams columns are ready now for the groups new design group same you just go with beam okay this is beam and click on ok and new design group once again this is column select the column and click on ok now select this beam using this left side g1 we'll select this g1 now view and left click here and then find view we're selecting all the beams so using control select all the beams in one go okay you can see the magic in the view and then you can right click on any beam and uh, add member to design group beam add okay then click on okay and similarly you just select column here left click to deselect everything front view and we'll select columns this like this and then control and select like this so to make sure that we don't select any beams then, sorry i missed this what am i all columns selected <coughs> select any column right click and add members to design group column add okay so members are added to the column design group uh, here now we are going to go to concrete member and uh, we can select column or beams right we have two options columns or beams so let's go and design columns first we select columns here and you can see all are black all are fake because we've not designed yet we don't know which is fail which is passing go to design these members are selected click on design so all the members which are passing they will show uh, you know your green otherwise they will show red or something else so you can see three members here uh, member 109 106 108 these, these are showing warnings these are red blue these are unknown the ones which are green these are okay you can see they are okay the members which are okay here you can see that and the columns which are failing so the entire you know sections we can change so the members which are okay for suppose this one and this is failing and this is okay okay and okay let's make any one which is okay and you can see the main reinforcement uh, which is used here so uh, c14 axial reinforcement uh, 20 28 kilonewton these are the loads here actually design and total parts and ht required which you can see ht required and ht provided 
uh, which is you can see here exactly okay uh, in the results as well you can see uh, these are the uh, shear force and bending moment diagrams you can see this shear layout you can find the layout of the shear reinforcements and the schedule also you can just export the schedule uh, as a dxf file here and uh, this is it and let's go and to beam and now it is showing all back black because beam has not been designed yet go to design and this is selected this click on ok so all the beams which are green they are ok and all the beams which are of other colors they have some warning or they have failed suppose this uh, black beam in black color this particular beam has failed here as you can see this beam has failed and similarly for this beam also this beam and this cantilever beam this cantilever beam has also failed so these are the beams which some of the beams which have failed okay and the beams which have passed they are showing the reinforcement you can see um, member summary or you can just see the main reinforcement okay you can see this these are the reinforcements in each, each of the beams 4 bars of 20 mm 4 bars of 20 mm and uh, bottom 4 bars of 16 mm so like this these are the reinforcement and it is pretty much symmetrical ones all the ones which are uh, black they have not passed and the green ones are passing so these are the hogging ones and these are for the sagging uh, ones so this is the uh, design results uh, which you can find in the uh, concrete designer options and for hope you learn something new and will make more such videos make sure you like the video it helps to reach the channel and uh, keep learning Bye-bye.